Good morning everyone. Hopefully you are enjoying good health. Today we will do our last OIT reader Village in the Snow. So, read the learning objectives with me. Can I make predictions about the story? Can I talk about the main characters and events of the story? Can I answer the literal questions? Now look at the cover page. Who can you see in the picture? Yes, there are Biff, Chip and Kipper. Oh, Wilf and Wilma are also with them. What do you think? Where are they? Yes, they might be in a valley or in a village. But why are the children wearing warm clothes? Absolutely right. The whole area is covered in snow. It means it's winter season. That's why they are wearing warm clothes. Look at the kipper. To whom is he pointing at? Yes, he is pointing towards a little boy who is pulling something. Now, let's read the story to know that where are the children and who is that little boy. So, please open page number one. The children were at school. It was playtime. Come in, called Mrs. May. As you can see that the children were at school and playing football. Mrs. May blew whistle to call the children in the classroom for the next lesson. Turn to the next page. Can you tell me which lesson is this? Yes, it's story time. And the children are sitting attentively to listen a new story. Now let's read with me. Mrs. May told the children a story. The story was about a village. The village was in the mountains. Everyone liked the story. It was called The Village in the Snow. Turn to page number 4 and 5. The children went to Biff's room. They wanted an adventure. Biff picked up the magic key. The key began to glow. The magic is working, said Biff. In the evening, Wilf and Wilma came to play with Biff and Chip. They went to Biff's room because they wanted an adventure. The magic started to work as Biff picked up the key. Now let's see where the magic takes them. The magic took the children to the village in the snow. It's lovely, said Biff. Kipper jumped in the snow. I like the snow, he called. This is fun. Magic took the children to a village that was covered in the snow. Kipper got excited and jumped in the snow. Come on the next page. They played in the snow. They made a snowman and put Kipper's hat on top. They jumped in the snow. They threw snowballs. Look, said Wilma. The children played and jumped in the snow. They were very happy. Biff and Kipper made a snowman while Chip and Will were fighting with the snowballs. Come on the next page. They saw a little boy. The boy was pulling a toboggan. Some big boys ran up. Here the toboggan is a long narrow sledge without runners. It is used for sliding downhill over snow or ice. Come on page number 11. They pushed the little boy over. They pushed the toboggan over and they ran away. Here a little boy was pulling a toboggan and carrying some food items on it. Some naughty boys came to tease the little boy and pushed his toboggan over. After that, they ran away laughing at him. Come on the next page. The children ran up. They helped the little boy. Kipper picked up his hat. The little boy told them about the big boys. Kipper was cross. Cross means angry. The children ran up to see the little boy who was in trouble. They helped the little boy. 
and he told them about the big boys so my dear students it's not good to tease the other ones so please avoid to tease your young ones and help them in need do you promise with me very nice now turn your page it's page number 14 and 15 keeper put on the little boy's hat he put on his coat come on he called the big boys looked at keeper keeper looked like the little boy come on said the big boys keeper put on little boy's hat and coat to play a trick with the big boys he was looking like the little boy keeper started pulling the toboggan big boys looked at him and ran to tease him they considered him the same little boy come on the next page the children threw snowballs at the big boys help help yelled the big boys the big boys ran away the little boy jumped and jumped in the snow as the big boys came to tease him the other children attacked on the big boys they threw snowballs at them the big boys were shocked at this unexpected fight they yelled for help and ran away from there turn to page number 18 and 19 the children put the little boy on the toboggan they pulled him home the little boy lived with his grandfather children put the little boy on the toboggan and pulled him home where his old grandfather was anxiously waiting for him he wasn't feeling well and having a plaster on his left leg that's why the little boy went alone for the grocery come on the next page grandfather gave the children a drink the children told grandfather about the big boys they told grandfather about the snowball fight grandfather called the children in he served them hot chocolate with a yummy moist carrot cake and listen what they did with the big boys it's page number 22 and 23 the children played in the snow they went on the toboggan this is fun said wills the magic key began to glow it's time to go said biff come on she said the children were enjoying and playing in the snow they had great fun suddenly the key began to glow and it was time to go home now come on the last page the magic took the children home what an adventure said chip everyone liked the adventure but what's in biff's hand yes she has tiny sky poles because she was skying when the key began to glow now it's time to wrap up the story tell me about the main characters of the story first of all yes you are right they are biff chip keeper will will mind the little boy my next question is where is the story set in good job it is set in a village that was covered in a snow in the snow third question is what do you think is the most important part of the story is it the village the snow or the little boy obviously the little boy good job now we will read some vocabulary words now let's start reading school play time village mountain adventure picked up took lovely jumped snowman made snowballs threw pulling toboggan saw pushed over 
cross yelled with grandfather lived gave drank and fight very nice now we will talk about the homework what will you do first of all you will read the story at least 3 or 4 times after that you will write a story in three paragraphs beginning middle and end using the given story starters the children were playing in the snow they saw a little boy pulling a toboggan this story is about village in the snow you will do this work in your literature notebook and if your literature notebook is finished then you will complete this task on a loose sheet got it thanks for watching the video stay blessed